Once upon a time, in the kingdom of Aurelia, there lived a kind and gentle princess named Aurora. She had long flowing hair as golden as the sun and eyes as blue as the sky. But what set Princess Aurora apart from others was her compassionate heart, which she extended to every creature in the kingdom, from the smallest bird to the mightiest dragon. One day, while exploring the lush gardens of the palace, Princess Aurora stumbled upon a hidden glade, filled with the most beautiful roses she had ever seen. Each bloom seemed to radiate its own soft light, casting a warm and comforting glow over the entire glen. Mesmerized by their beauty, Aurora reached out to touch one of the roses, but as soon as her fingers brushed against the delicate petals, a voice echoed through the glade. Who dares to disturb my enchanted roses, the voice boomed. Startled, Aurora looked around, trying to locate the source of the voice. Finally, she spotted an old woman standing at the edge of the glade, her eyes gleaming with a mixture of anger and sadness. I, I am sorry, Aurora stammered, taking a step back. I didn't mean to intrude. I was just admiring the roses. The old woman's expression softened slightly as she studied the princess. You have a kind heart, child, she said, her voice gentler now. Perhaps you can help me break the curse that plagues these roses. Aurora listened intently as the old woman explained that long ago, a wicked sorceress had cast a spell on the roses, trapping them in eternal bloom. The only way to break the curse was to find true love before the last petal of the enchanted rose fell. Moved by the old woman's plight, Aurora vowed to help her. Together, they set out on a quest to find true love and break the curse. Along the way, they encountered many challenges and obstacles, but Aurora's kindness and bravery saw them through. As they journeyed through distant lands and treacherous forests, Aurora met many suitors, each more charming than the last. But despite their best efforts, none of them could capture her heart. Time passed, and the enchanted rose began to wither, its petals falling one by one. With each petal that fell, Aurora felt a pang of sadness in her heart, knowing that time was running out. Finally, on the eve of the last petal falling, Aurora found herself standing before a humble cottage at the edge of the forest. Inside, she discovered a young man named Ethan, tending to his sick mother with tender care and love. Instantly, Aurora felt a connection with Ethan, unlike anything she had ever felt before. As they talked, she realized that he was the one she had been searching for all along. With tears in her eyes, Aurora confessed her love for Ethan, and in that moment, the curse was broken. The enchanted rose bloomed once more, its petals vibrant and full of life. Grateful for Aurora's kindness and love, the old woman revealed herself to be a fairy, blessed the young couple, and vanished into thin air, leaving behind only a trail of sparkling dust. From that day on, Princess Aurora and Ethan ruled the kingdom of Aurelia together, their love bringing prosperity and happiness to all who dwelled within its borders. And though many years have passed since that fateful day, the tale of the enchanted rose and the princess who saved it lives on, a testament to the power of love and kindness in a world filled with darkness.